welcome to Cool Camera Corner. In this brand new series, I take a look at old cameras that I happen to find interesting and cool. Some of them are genuine classics and have rightfully earned their place in history. Others were just ordinary cameras that people once used every day without thinking anything of. But in all cases, they can still be used today to take fantastic photographs. So without further ado, let's have a look at today's camera. Yeah. You missed a bit. <laughs> Miss you in a minute. <laughs> So, right, hi, uh, welcome to Cool Camera Corner. In this episode, we're going to be having a look at twin lens reflexes. I'd like to welcome Ollie back to the show. Hi, guys. Now, uh, we have been waiting for this episode uh, because uh, I particularly have been very excited about this because this is a camera that I'm very fond of. I, I, I like twin lens reflex yeah. cameras anyway. I think they're really fun. Um, but this one has a couple of tricks up its sleeve, which we'll come to in a bit. But this is another one of your babies. Why don't you give us Absolutely. a bit of an introduction to it? Right, so this is a uh, Yoshika 635. I don't actually recall how old it is. I think it's mm. sort of 60s, 70s. Yeah. Um, and the good Mr. Widgery here mentioned a couple of tricks on it. Mainly that, yeah, it takes 120 film and 6x6 six six square negatives. Which is the standard that, you know, the Romans yeah. and they all did. Yeah. I mean, that was, the, that was the thing. Which is great, but you get, what is it, 16 exposures on a roll? Something like that. Oh, yeah, 16 or 12, yeah. I think. You've got options yeah. off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, no, yeah, of course, 16 is <laughs> 4 by 5 Yeah. Okay, it's been a long day. Um, <laughs> you don't get many is the short answer. Uh, yeah. So if you want to go out and, and shoot a lot, then, then you, you have to spend a lot of money on film and, um, and then more money on processing things. it as well. Uh, which is why they came up with this guy. It's actually, uh, you see just here, there's the 35mm film only. It's actually got a 35mm adapter. How cool so is that? So you can, you can stick standard rolls of 35mm in there. And you get effectively an 80mm portrait camera. Which is brilliant, because it has to be said so for those that don't know about the 120 format, because it's a bigger format. Um, some convoluted maths means that basically the, the lens size, you don't get the same as what you would with 35 equipment. Much in the same way that in, you know, you'd probably be aware with your digital cameras, if you've got an APS-C size uh, digital camera, which has got a smaller sensor in it than the standard 35mm that you'd get with a full frame uh, or a film SLR, uh, then the focal length is, is different. So, you know, uh, uh, thir that 35mm, which is designed for a crop sensor body, actually works out at a sort of 55 or something yeah. like that, because it's, you know, the, the smaller the sensor, the, uh, you know, the, 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 the longer the lens effectively gets uh, compared to the 35mm. So in these, where it's designed to be a, a 120 film, which is yeah. a, a much bigger format, then what would be a, a, a 35 you know, on uh, on a, on a, on, a th on a 35 mil camera would be yeah, would be would very be, wide indeed. Yeah, I mean, it would absolutely. be sort of 18 mil or something like that. Something insane. Yeah. Um, it's it's all to do with angles of view, isn't it? Mm. Um, so you get these sort of these these cones of, of what essentially what the lens picks up. Yeah. And, and it's, it's how far back that cone goes to yeah, and fit how the size wide of the. It is. Yeah. 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 And and maths and. Lenses happen. Maths and lenses happen. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there'll be. Please leave comments if you know <laughs> the, the maths yeah. behind it. I'd be interested. Ed I'm educators, rubbish please. Maths. Educators. Some maths happen and lenses and change focal lengths. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, right. <laughs> and and we, I, I take photos with them. I don't make them. No, I don't it's, make them. As long no. as it, the picture looks nice, and the nice thing, the pictures do look nice out of these. They don't they? do. They've got very good lenses. Absolutely. Um, tell us about the Yoshika lenses, because the, um, the, the these are. Uh, they're, they're, they're Japanese glass, which is, is very mm. well-renowned, and it's got the built-in Copal shutters. Copal made really good, uh, yeah. very quiet leaf shutters in there as yeah. well. Yeah, Copal MXV. Um, this is the MXV, okay. There we go. Might mean something to somebody. <laughs> yeah, you heard uh, it here first, kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what we have here, it's uh, we actually have two lenses. Uh, we've got the, uh, the Yashikor 80mm 3.5, and they actually made Yashiko 635s with two different lenses. There's the Yashikor and the Yashinon. Okay. Uh, Yashinons are they're held in slightly higher regard, but really I've never had a problem with these. They're nice and contrasty, they're sharp. They're a little bit soft around the edges wide open, but if you're shooting with 35mm, then that's not an issue because you're sort of cropping you're cropped that in down. anyway, you're only using the middle bit of the glass, so yeah. And with the for the rest of the time, you can actually use that to your advantage with mm. a lot of shots. Yeah, it's mm. it's a really really sort of pleasant lens to use. Right, um, you get almost a sort of like a like a, a, a focus vignette around the you know. Almost, yeah. yeah. No, that's yeah. a very good way of putting mm. it. Uh, it's 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 a nice lens to use. The Yashi Nons were a lot. Uh, they were a lot sharper. Right, uh, but it's you know it's it's it's. And they were the, reference, really. Yeah, and they were, they were also 80 mil, but they they, they stuck yeah. to the 80 mil. But you can 80 have 3.5s, and you can pay a bit more money and get the non. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> 
How did these compare in price when uh, you know when they were new uh, to you know? The, I mean, obviously the the, the Rayleigh cords were, were the ones that you know in the Rayleigh flex. Yeah, they, Rayleigh they were flexes, yeah. Uh, yeah, Rayleigh flex was a sort of top end. Rayleigh, Rayleigh cord came in something underneath it, but the Rayleigh flex is the one that. I guess it was the benchmark that a lot of people set these things by, or certainly did at the time. Um, was this a comparable price? Were they challenging the same market, or were they trying to go for something that was a little bit more, you know, accessible? Because they were very expensive, weren't they? They were. The, uh, they were the expensive rallies, cameras, you know? but they mm. weren't anywhere near the the price of, of jamming cameras, and they're mm. still not. Uh, right. That set me back about a hundred quid. Which is a uh, lot cheaper because you couldn't get a you can get a rally for that. You can get a rally cord for that. No. Uh, no. The, the collectors have just driven prices of, mm. of flexes through the roof. Yeah particularly mm. the F's and the 2.8 and, mm. and what have you. But this is a really, really good way to get into into TLRs yeah. at, at reasonable money. Mm. And the other thing is, again, so you've got uh, you've got this adapter here, and you, it, you've got your nice little leather case, and then you've got a 35mm take-up spool. That's really cute, isn't it? It's, it's good, isn't it? It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. And then a couple of little things to screw on to make that thing fit. And you actually have a sort of a separate film gate and a... Uh, a, a Back plate to sort of replace the the, the backing paper. Uh, yeah, okay, on, nice. On yeah, because the uh, with, with with 120 film you get a sort of backing paper that comes with it, and with 35 mil you have a sort of pressure plate that keeps the the film in place. Film where it should be. Yeah. yeah. And it actually fits in quite nicely. I mean, okay, so you're going to be jumping up and down and screaming and shouting for this <laughs> because I do actually have a roll in here. The thing is, it's knackered. I don't know what's in it, and I have a sneaking suspicion that somebody actually got a hold of this and opened it. Ah, right. So okay. I'm not particularly happy about that. No. But so, but it, yeah, it, words to the wise: don't open your film back if there's don't film do in that. it. Uh, do not it, do that. It will end in tears. Uh, but in this occasion, we're going on to, this occasion, uh, we're, we, we, we are going to break photographer's law. Yes. Yes. Right. And you ready? Drum roll. Drum roll. And make the camera shudder. It's <laughs> probably ill advised. That's actually. a slightly, uh, slightly enthusiastic. So we'll, we'll lay the drum roll over in post. That's <laughs> we'll do that. Yeah. There's a drum roll playing now. Yeah. <laughs> so. It does get a little bit mm. And then this guy here pops out. Smooth as butter. But <laughs> <laughs> Smooth as butter with sand mixed yes. in. Uh, so. One other thing about these mm. is the size of the negative. It's vast. It's huge, isn't it? It's absolutely. Well, mm. it, the, the, the negatives themselves are six by six centimetres. So there's a square but, crop picture yeah, that you get out of it. Absolutely. Mm. Uh, which does actually make a lot of sense mm. if, you're, if you're shooting with one of these things. Mm. Because uh, you can't turn them sideways. No, there's I mean, no there's no portrait and landscape. I mean, it, you can you can hold it that way up to take the photo, and you can hold it that way up to take the photo, and it, 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 it'll look the same. Yeah. But the thing is, if you look in the viewfinder there, mm. you'll actually see, you know, if you have a little mm. look in, you'll see that as you turn it, the, it goes, it the, goes wrong the wrong way. way. Yeah, yeah. But if you hold it sideways, then everything goes upside down. Yes, yeah, well, we'll have a look in there. And <laughs> I don't even see yeah, that. There we go. So, <laughs> look, there's, there's me. I'm probably horrendously out of focus. Uh, but if I move the camera this way, then I'm going to go the wrong direction in, in the viewfinder. Because it's coming up through the mirror, so it, you, yeah. everything's... Back to front, and this is the um, this is an interesting one. We'll come onto this in, in, a, in a second, but the um, this was a challenge for sports photographers, wasn't it? <laughs> if you're if you're yeah. if you're sent on assignment to shoot Wimbledon, yeah, every time the ball goes one way over the net, you, you're, you've got to go yeah, the other you're way. Be going so it's like, like patting your stomach and rubbing your head at the same time. It's very complicated. And yeah, some of these, your stomach's up here now. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> this is why I'm a photographer, not a doctor. Yeah, same way. <laughs> yeah. My career choice is the right one, I yes, think, given good, that well with the Yeah, exactly. Uh, but uh, uh, some of these... Ah, now I can say that's interesting. I can yeah, see there is a little go. thing. Yeah, yep. right. Now, so you, um, you pop that... That's so, just, yeah, first of all... Hold this up to the thing so we you, can see. For critical so, focus, you just sort of pop that, and then you've got a little sort of magnifying glass there, and you can you can get a really good view of the, uh, of the focus. You can sort of close up, like, like you do with the with digital cameras these days. Yeah. You can zoom in onto the back of the camera to Absolutely. pick focus points, things like that. Now, uh, what you can do, if you're mm. shooting sporty things... Yeah is put that fella down mm. and look through there. Yeah. There you go, you see? Hello. There we go. And, okay, so you're not going to be getting the focusing, but... No. If you if you sort of stop it down or you're, yeah. you're just, you're good at zone focusing. Yeah, well exactly. Well then... Chuck it on F16 and yeah. put it somewhere close to the distance that, you know, you want it yeah. and, uh, and and you're golden. I mean, you're not quite exactly. going to get either what is... Because the nice thing about that is that that's, that that's designed to... Um, 
to show you basically the sort of the same angle as what's there, unless you get very very close, and then you do get yeah. a, couple, a little bit of parallax uh, correction, but but you know it's not great. But certainly if you're doing portraits or anything else, you're far enough away that that's effectively the same as that. That's not quite the same, but it's close enough, but it, isn't it? Yeah, you know? absolutely. If you're if you're shooting Wimbledon and it's way over there, then yeah, you're, everything's you're gonna, in. Yeah, exactly. And, and because you've got these enormous uh, negatives. Croppings, you can crop it switch. down because yeah. you've got the data there. It's the equivalent of having a very high number of megapixels on your digital camera Absolutely. because you know, there's just a lot of information that you, you're not going to get on the smaller smaller lens. Yeah. So that's really interesting. Now the other thing um, about some of these cameras, and you have to talk me through how it is, you've got a couple of these little little sort of controls on here. Now some mm. of these um, were, were, were linked. Uh, some of these uh, uh, the, these uh, so TLRs, so that you had what was equivalent to something like a sort of shutter priority mode where you could sort of lock in an F number from your meter and then yeah. dial that into the aperture dial and then you could link the shutter dial to it yeah. so that you, you, you change it to the same if time. You, if you change the aperture, um, if you stop it down then the, uh, the, the exposure speed gets would uh, slow down slow as well down. so it would keep the same exposure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Is and there something similar? No, these are completely unlinked. Mm. Uh, you've just got these two dials here. The, sort of that fella there, that does your, your shutter speed. You've got a little window up there, which is actually quite convenient. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, so when that's you're, telling you your, uh, your shutter speed. Yeah, on that one. And yeah. When, you're, when you're looking at the top, you can sort of see that that changes there. That's cool. And then yeah. you've got your, your aperture on the other side. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, so it's, it's, it's just a nice... It's nice again, and easy. Fairly, and yeah. you just sort of sunny 16 it, or yeah. you carry a, a handheld meter. meter mm. And it, it, does, it does the job of treat. Brilliant. Now we've got another little thing here, uh, which uh, <laughs> yes. is probably the other end of the scale, I think. To mm. um, you know, in terms of, of quality, uh, you know, we, this is this is this is more of your sort of high end. I mean, you, you, you'd, um, you'd you'd buy one of these if you were going out on assignment somewhere and you were, you yeah. were paid to do it, or you were very rich, enthusiast, and uh, mm. you know had, had money because these, these would have been you know. That's, you know, it's, it's, a, a, it's a decent a few weeks' wages, isn't it? This? Yeah. I mean, it's a it's, it's an expensive thing. Um, but the nice thing about TLR, I mean, actually these days they're fairly cheap. But if you want to get even cheaper uh, and, and have a play <laughs> and, and don't mind making something yourself, it's possible, it's, isn't it? For about an hour's work, I got this thing. Look at that. He made that himself. It's quite good, isn't it? Look at that. It's yeah. It has made an out aperture. of your finest uh, plastic. It has an aperture. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it has a shutter. I don't know what the speed is. Right. Uh, it has a viewfinder. Which is a little bit of a fiddle, but look, there you go. You see it; it works in just the same way. So you can see and stuff in there. Let's have yep. a look through there. Oh yes, there we go. And it's you know as you <laughs> heavily yeah, vignetted. Does the same thing. It is a bit vignetted, isn't it? Does that come out on the pictures as well? Uh, that... it, it doesn't vignette per se. What it mm. does is it it produces this really interesting sort of swirl. So the mm, centre of okay. the photo, because it's just a meniscus lens, right, okay. it's a single lens, yeah. and you just sort of press it in there, and it just right. goes click, and that's that. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. But you've, so that gives mm. you a nice sort of sharp centre, and yeah. then around the outside, you've got this sort of really weird sort of out of focus mm. circle. Right. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's really shots. And yeah. 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 So very much the, the sort of Lomo boys, you know, who get yeah. the diners and the hoggers. Where the, the, hoggers the eat your heart to... out. This thing is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the nice thing about these, I mean, I, I guess it's the same as what people say about hoggers and diners and other other such things is that. Um, they, they buy a load of them because the, the lenses, there's no, um, no sort of accuracy, like. no two are alike. So yeah. the, the, the swirly bit that's in the middle of this one might be open in the top left corner in the next one you buy yeah. that's come off the production well, line make. at the same time. Or make. Yeah. Yes. It, it came as a little sort of a flat pack and I had to sit there for an hour with a screwdriver and sort of assemble this thing. But that's pretty good, isn't it? For an hour's yeah. work to get a little, and you know, it does for its whatever job. that is. And yeah, you know. Yeah, just stick a roll of 200 400 in there and you're fine happy day so this this takes um this takes 35 mil as opposed to it um, does it does indeed and one other thing i really really enjoy about that mm. it doesn't actually have a frame counter no right so right. you have to sort of memorize that do you uh, ish i mean <laughs> it does have a little sort of guide if i may okay sure so what you do mm. right that's the high tech that one and yes. you open the open the back like that sort of crunches open and you've got your sort of little sprocket there for your film and it's actually linked to this little sort of dial here. Uh, and you see there's an arrow on that little wheel, and there's right. two, two here and here. And what happens is, as you wind on the film, mm. that arrow sort of moves, and then once it goes eight sprocket holes, <laughs> <Right>. it ends <laughs> up pointing at the other one. Fantastic. So you just sort of stand there, and you wind it, and you just, you're sort of waiting for it to go to the right one. So you go to the other one, and then you're... And then it, it, it just happens. One side's full, one side's empty? Yeah, uh, no, no, or, it, it, there's, there's oh, nothing just, there. Right, okay. You just go round and round <laughs> and round right. and round. Excellent, okay. Why overcomplicate things? Exactly. And, well, hey, for a tenner you can't really complain. Wow, ten quid. To, uh, I mean, that's it. So if anybody's um, 
you know, fearful, and I, I don't think anybody should really be fearful of, of you know, putting a wanner towards something like this. Uh, no. But you know, if uh, if uh, there's um, you know, if, if that's a bit too rich, um, then uh, you know, crack on with one of those and get involved with it because it's it's really fun actually looking yeah. through these things. Um, you get that's, a whole different perspective. I know perspective. you've got to, you've got <laughs> to pull those two little ears out. Right. Uh, oh, <laughs> those oh, ears. There we go. Yep, out they come, and you sort of push it. There's an act to it. Yes. Ah, there, oh, there we go. go. Right. And then uh -huh. you've got to turn it upside down, and then everything flops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean it's not. <laughs> it's not a speed uh, no. operation, is it? But no, no I mean that's brilliant. Enough. You look through that, and you get the, you get the proper gist of you it. And there's little there's little lab lugs on there. You can put a strap on. And, yep, you know, a bit of string. You, you need. And it's even got a tripod now. It, everything. Yeah, it's a bit optimistic, but there we go. Yeah, uh, and the other thing is on the side. There's not one on the bottom. It has to be said. You can only yeah. put it that way around. And yep. this do, this doesn't shoot square format because it's 35 mil. So this will be portrait or. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you you can you can have uh, you can have portraits in uh, with with a tripod. Yeah. But I suspect it probably doesn't make that oh, much no, difference. Oh no, you, you it, have you landscapes know? in the tripod. Oh no, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Landscapes on the tripod, portrait um, handheld. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's it's quite strange because the the film actually goes from bottom to top. Right. As opposed to side to side. I mean, there there are some weird little ones tucked away somewhere that that have you know they they sort of slightly wide and they they sort of go across. Okay. But that thing is bottom to top, so it, it just does portrait. How cool is that? I think that's very, very funky. Um, and, best thing, yeah. Reseski is what it's called. Reseski, there we go. So Re we'll, we'll throw a link up to that. TLR. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant stuff. We'll throw a link um, to that up on the um, on the screen and people can go and have a look at that because I, I, you know, yeah. I think I'm going to get one of these myself and have a play with it. They are good fun. Brilliant stuff. Right, well, as always, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for joining Molly. It's been Not brilliant. And we shall um, hopefully see you again on an episode soon. Yes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Uh, jab at that button that's on the screen now. Um, and watch all of the other videos that are on here. Also, don't forget that I'm now available on F-Stop Lounge. So head over to um, the F-Stop Lounge uh, site because there's some amazing videos on there from all kinds of really cool photographers. Yeah. And uh, check out what they do. There's some competitions where you can win prizes, some of which involve money. Uh, what more could you want? Not a lot. Brilliant stuff. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Thanks for the time we're watching. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> See you again soon. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>